doing good in this video i will be showing you how to make a website on wix with ai once you are signed up to wix.com you will be redirected to a page just like this and all you'll need to do is tap on create new site now to create a website with wix ai you're going to tap on start chat after tapping on start chat from here, you can type in what type of website you would like to create. So let's say for example, I want it to create a writing portfolio website or just a portfolio website. So I'm going to type in create a portfolio website. So I'm going to do that real quick. After you have done that, you will tap on enter. After tapping on enter, from here you can see what type of portfolio will it be. And I'm just going to type in writing. After typing in writing, you can see right there, nice what type of writing services would you like to offer? And you could continue typing in more and begin to get more specific. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on end chat and continue. You can tap right there, or you can tap on end chat and continue from the top menu option. After you have done that, you can see it is now generating your website. So you would give it a few seconds while your website is being generated. Now that my website has been generated, I have been redirected to this page. Now on this page, from here you could go over to the left hand menu option and you can tap on portfolio. After you have tapped on portfolio, you will be able to upload your first portfolio. So you can see short videos, articles, any one of these options you can select. Then from there, you can tap on next. You can also choose to set it up without AI. But since we're doing this with AI, we're going to tap on setup with AI. After doing that, I could tap on upload from computer. And let's say for example, I were to select a random thumbnail. I could tap on open. After I've done that, I could tap on generate projects. Once it loads up, and the Wix AI will generate a portfolio using this thumbnail. So you can see right there, it is analyzing the image. And you can see that it has come up with a quick description. So I'm going to tap on create portfolio. So I've created my first portfolio using the Wix AI. After you have created your portfolio, you can tap on set up in the top right hand corner. But before doing that, if it is a case that you'd like to write a blog, you could tap on blog from the left hand menu option. Then from there, you could also tap on AI tools and you could tap on create a post with AI and you could create an article using the Wix AI. You can also tap on set up in the top left hand corner, then tap on design site in the top right hand corner. And we're going to tap on generate a design with AI. If you wanted to choose a manual template, you could tap on pick a template. But we are going to tap on generate a design. After you have done that, you will give it a few seconds. Then from here, you can see we are generating a writing portfolio. So you can see right there, site brief based on your site profile. My writing profile will have a site structure which includes one page. So you can see that it is being created right there. So just give it a few seconds while it loads up. Once it loads up, I'll be showing you what to do next. So you can see right there, they have created my site, as you can see here. You can choose to regenerate the site if you want. You can choose to also make it a little different if you want. But I'm going to tap on continue with this design. After tapping on continue with this design, from here, you can see that I've been provided with. You can purchase a domain name if you want. But I'm going to tap on continue to the editor. After tapping on continue to the editor, you'll be redirected to the Wix editor page. On the editor page, you'll now be able to add your own personal touches to your website. So for example, you can add images, you can add text, you can set it up to your liking. So you can see that it is loading up. Once it has loaded up, I want you to pay attention to add elements in the top left hand corner. By tapping there, you'll see the text box option, images, videos, anything at all that you would like to add to your website, you can quickly do that. And to view the pages on your website, you would tap on home in the top left hand corner. 
and you can see the different pages right there now it is as easy as that once you're finished you're going to tap on preview to see your website live so you can see it right there if i were to tap on the short stories option you can see it there and i can go back to my home page after everything is there liking you'll tap on publish and your website will now be live